away from Goodson from behind. So possession stays with GU. Gray thought about the three and then he stripped again by Keon Bell a two on one Bell with the finish for Pepperdine and it's a nine point game. Well young man averages almost 20 points a game he's showing why he's got game. Stephen Gray corner three balls long Jackson with the rebound. You watch Matt Bolden come in there. Get knocked around a little bit, walks back out as Jackson finishes at the other end for Pepperdine. They have no fear right now, do they? They just are attacking the Zags in transition offense. The Zags are a good transition defensive team, but right now the waves are rolling in on every opportunity. Good to we'll go to the free throw line. You know, I think there's. There's a perception around that once Gonzaga beat St. Mary's and Portland on the road that there weren't going to be any tough games left in the West Coast Conference. And ladies and gentlemen, we've got a seven point game with 1545 to play in Zagville. We'll be right back. Fans stop by Papa Murphy's on Gonzaga game days for the slam dunk deal. Get a large three topping pizza for only eight ninety nine. Papa Murphy's take and bake pizza handmade in our kitchen home baked in your oven. Boy, I could go for a nice big pizza, pizza za right now. There's, There's Alex, Alex Hernandez. You know, his signature moment in a Zag uniform was down in <laughs> Albuquerque, wasn't it? I don't know if he'd agree with that. Oh, I think he said so in his, uh, his uh, interview that you had with him. In, uh, the decade. technical foul that almost cost his yeah, team the game. Yeah, that was, you know, a, a play, <laughs> but that's the kind of player he was. He was just so into it all the time. and. In New Mexico, that foul was called, and he didn't agree with it. And he slammed the ball down and gave uh, the Lobos a couple extra free throws to tie the game and send it into overtime. Goodson now with seven points, and we've got a nine-point game. Michael Thompson bringing, bringing it up for Pepperdine. Oh, pretty Back play. Door. Bell! Right over Rob Sacre. Little, uh, That's a seven footer that Keon Bell went over. And then <laughs> the foul, the technical foul called on Keon Bell. And Tom Asbury not very happy with that. He's going to fight for his players. Watch this. Just a beautiful back door. And then Keon Bell just getting up above Robert Sacre. Sacre challenged it. Look at that. He just went over him. Just a back door play. That's. You can't draw it up any better than what you just saw. Bolden hits both technical free throws and we'll show you in a little bit. But Keon Bell has been on YouTube for most of the season with with a great dunk over a million people have seen the video and we'll show it to you in just a moment. But we just saw another one right there. Yeah, you that's would. a heck of a dunk to go over a seven footer that's known for blocking shots. But that whole play was set up with hitting the high post. Bell breaking back door, the defender standing still. And then Robert has to come over from the weak side to try to help. And Bell just went over him and rung the bell. Harris missed the shot. Thompson with the rebound for Pepperdine in a nine point game. Subtle three ball corner. Long Harris with the rebound. And Stephen Gray now to the middle of the floor. There's Matt Bolden. Rob Sacre, low post, turn around inside, long. Harris with the rebound, taking away Keon Bell. This young man's having a game here in the second half. And the finish. And he draws the foul. Keon Bell has scored 16 of the last 20 points scored by Pepperdine. In a five-minute period. Remember in the first half, the Waves went on a seven-minute drought without a field goal. Keon Bell didn't touch the ball very much, but so far in the second half, he's had his hands on a lot of balls and getting the job done. Get her done, Keon. And Matt Bolden with a foul just picked up number three. That's three on GU this half. Yeah, on my notes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight possessions that the, that the Pepperdine scored on. Guess who's been on seven of them? And it's a six point game. As close as Pep has been since the early going. Bolden dives into the middle and scores off the glass. And that's what a senior leader will do for you. He knows when you got to have a basket kind of cool the waves down. 
Go to your senior leader. There's Keon Bell. And not only that. Around the, fires away long. Tipped away by a rock. Manny. Laying Bolden. Well, just Matt like, Bolden a moment ago with those technical free throws moved into 14th all-time scoring in Gonzaga history. So he continues to climb the list here in the last minute. <laughs> Look at Keon Bell. Bell now with 19 points. He's hit his average. Sacre left it free. Oh, you know, we had a little chat at halftime thinking about assist. And right now, the Wave's doing it without assist because Keon Bell's got the ball in his hands, but the Zag's making some good plays. Wow. <laughs> Keon Bell is smoking hot. Well, I tell you why he's smoking hot. He's wearing number three, the best number ever. Is that what you wore? I wore number three. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that, Elo. Remember, I worked in Cleveland. That's right. Oh, nice. Stephen Gray. A chance for three. You know, great spacing by the Zags. Caught the waves, kind of standing flat, put it on defense. Matt Bolden delivers a dime to Stephen Gray. Look at the touch on that shot. He's trying to use the backboard, but missed it. But still, <laughs> it goes in. Zachary out of the game, replaced by Kelly Olinick, number 13. Give Pepperdine some credit. They've taken care of the ball in this yeah. game, just seven turnovers. And now, Craig, in that first half, they shot 38%. For the game now, that number is up near 48%. They're 19 of 40. And they're getting some high percentage shots Lance. because Bell's getting uh, down the floor, beating the defense down. Gonzaga, though, keeping them at bay. They got it to six, and it's back to 11. Jackson won't get the roll. Tipped by Moore, grabbed by a rock. And here's Stephen Gray. Right to the rim, left hand, tip back, Robert Harris. I'll give it to Rock. Nice job, Zags. One of the best rebounding teams in the country. Catches the ball, and then you do what you, you can't. You teach your your young guys. If there's somebody up ahead, get him the basketball, and that's exactly what. Rock did, got Steven the ball where he needed to, and then followed up the play. And they gave that bucket to Harris. Oh! That's a good, you know what, when you now have 14 a, points, 10 rebounds. When you have a guy like Harris that's averaging all those points, and you got Rock. They're just going to assume it was him. Yeah, assume, but, you know, that's a good good thing on your stat crew over there, your home crew. Give the points to the guy that always well, but, has the higher average. Yeah, but Manny's part of the home team. Yeah, but he's just a freshman. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay. But that so one I'm buying Harris. it, too. Oh, so so is but he's a 20-year-old freshman. Yeah, that's He's an is. older freshman. Yeah. And what is it, age before beauty? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Double doubles. You know, right now in the conference, you know, the two games, the 31-point, 13 rebound against St. Mary's. Let's follow that up with uh, he's, he's a guy that could average double doubles. Well, 14 points, 10 rebounds tonight. He's averaging double doubles in league play. And there's a turnover. Turnover number eight for Pepperdine. And here's Harris with Dupree guarding him. Look at that. I tell you, Harris is an absolute bull. He is an absolute bull. He caught that ball 12 feet from the bucket, and he took the shot three feet from the bucket. And the thing that you like about it, too, is, is that he didn't duck his head. Watch this. He catches the ball, see where the defender is. No one's Bang. coming to double. Keeps the ball up high, and then, like you said, just bulls his way to the free or to the uh, to the basket, and now gets an opportunity to get a three-point play. Actually, I guess they've moved Harris back to nine rebounds. So he's one shy of that double-double, but we have to assume he'll get there. I'm not to take any thunder away from Harris, but. Well, they changed the putback. The putback went to Mangisto or Rob. See? So it's not age before beauty. <laughs> Look at Keon Bell. Goodness gracious. 20 second half points now. Stephen Gray. Get up, Stephen. 
He's got over a 40 inch vertical leap. He had a little run there though. But that's exactly what uh, one of the keys to the game was. Make sure you get the rebound and run. And that's what the Zags did on that possession. And just like that, it's out to a 15 point Gonzaga lead. It's Bell drives and hit another one. He's Houdini. Fuego. Fuego, the guy is caliente. He's hot. He's on fire. I didn't realize you were so bilingual. I, I get more and more impressed by you every day. Yeah, wait uh, until I break out. Uh, I don't know what else I could break out. <laughs> bilingual. Keon Bell has scored 22 of Pepper.